All right, another video on LEDs. Um, so I did a video on um, uh, capacitor leakage, and I mentioned that another YouTuber had done, instead of using a meter, he actually put in a blue LED. And blue LEDs are very, very, very efficient. And so um, I don't know how many microamps you could actually detect with a, uh, with a blue LED. So, uh, so I'm going to use my fancy... Um, can you see it over there? Is that focused? Ah, come on, focus, 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 focus. You can do it, there we go. I'm gonna use my uh, fancy uh, Keithley 2400 because it can source really, really low uh, microamps. I think you can even do picoamps, but anyway, it does microamps. So I have it set to uh, 99.999, I have it set to 100 microamps. And so right now, uh, that's what we have going into the LED, 100 microamps, right? And, it, and it's pretty bright. So let me, let me turn it down to 10 microamps. Uh, let's see, edit, zero, 10. Okay. And so I think you can still see, yeah, see, you can still see that. It's still glowing. And, you know, it's still, if I can focus over there. Come on, you can do it. There you go. I think you can read that. It's uh, 10 microamps. 10 microamps. Well, guess what? Let's, let's, let's try one microamp. Uh, let's see here. Edit zero zero one. Oops. Edit zero zero one. One microamp. Now that might be too hard to see. Um, oh, I think you can just see it. I think you can just see it. Let me turn the room lights off. And yeah. Damn. <laughs> Sorry. Um, darn. Uh, yeah, that's. Oops. Where did it go? Oops. My camera is. Adjusting its auto exposure. Wait a minute. What happened? Just a second. Turn on my spec. Oh, that was weird. My camera. My camera did a funny thing there. Okay, turn it off. There it is. I can see the blue. Uh, my camera. Look at that. My camera fades in and out. That's really weird. Anyway, I think you, you get the idea, though, right? Oh, focus again. Uh, yeah, I'll do it this way. Uh, yeah, one one microamp. So. Uh, you know, how how low can you go, right? And so I did this cool experiment. Uh, it's unbelievable. So so I looked at the spectrum analyzer, and I had this little antenna on it. I think I've showed that before. I got, oops, let me move this out of the way. I've got this little uh, coily antenna here just to pick up everything. And uh, you can see that there's quite a few stations, you know. Um, this is from 0 to 1, no, this is 0 to 1.9 gigahertz, right? And um, so there's quite a bit of signals that this thing could pick up. FM radio stations, police fire, you know, uh, Wi-Fi, all those other things, right? So there's quite a bit of energy on the band there, right? So, uh, so I'm going to take this antenna. Let me go back down over here. So I'm sorry, I was flickering over there. I, I didn't set it to NTS. Um, so I've got this... Um, Got this antenna, and let's uh, let me put it in my vise here so it's pointing up, so it's vertically polarized. A lot of the signals around here are vertically polarized, so I think I'll get like, like on the spectrum analyzer. I think vertical, I get more power out of it, right? So let me disconnect this one. All right, and let me connect. Let me connect it up over here, and let's see. Here. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to. I think I have to turn the. I don't think the camera's picking the, picking this one up. So let me. Uh, yeah, let me turn the room light room lights off here in a second. Oh, do you see it? You see that little? Oh, there it is. Hope oh, my camera doesn't do that weird thing. But you see that little blue dot in the middle there? Uh, no, I don't know. How, oh man, it's really really faint. I don't know how many microamps that is. But that's just totally amazing. That is totally cool. So, um, yeah, uh, so, so, something to try at home. I mean, uh, I don't know. Maybe a better antenna could even make it brighter. I, I, don't, I haven't tried that out yet. Anyway, video for the day. That was, sorry, it was a short one.